Hey besties, so what I'm going to be working on is a Reese's peanut butter cup wrapper. So I'm doing this in design space. I did do a little something in Photoshop which I'll show you and that's something small and that's only just because I wanted the uh, multiple strokes on it. I went ahead and did that in Photoshop and transferred it into design space. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the measurements that I'm going to use and then we will get into designing which will go pretty quickly because uh, I do have mostly everything uploaded and then we will go into printing, assembling and finish this thing off. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click this unlock because I want to be able to change my dimensions to basically uh, whatever I want if I don't it will keep on toggling back and forth so the width I'm going to choose is six inches and then the height is going to be 6.5 okay I'll bring that up some and then I'm going to enter in one more square and I'm going to make this six inches in width and 2.5 in height okay now I'm going to just move this and then I will select these two together and align center vertically. Okay, so that just places it in the middle for me. I am going to go ahead and upload a pattern and then I am going to choose this uh, chocolate sprinkles background right here. And I'm going to go to open and you can choose your color recommendation here um, this is just easy for when you're searching for different things this will help you locate it in your patterns okay so I'm gonna save that and I am going to click here on my largest piece and go to fill print click on this box and I'm going to go to patterns and I'm gonna choose this pattern right here I am going to end up editing my pattern just a little bit more visible and then I'm going to edit this one. I'm going to make this one look a little waffle um, background. Okay, so I have most of my clip art that I'm going to use already uploaded. Um, so I'm just going to add it back in and then place it where, where I want it to go. So the font that I use is called Wild Ride. It is from Defonts, um, so you can download it there. When you upload this file, you will get two. Um, so it's basically one that has the background shadow and then the front. Um, however, it didn't really work well with Cricut, so that's why I ended up still doing it in Photoshop. So you can test it out and see how it works out for you guys. I'm just going to finish up my design here. For anything that goes above my middle section needs to be flipped. So I'm just going to go here to rotate and click and um, type in 180 and that will just flip it upside down for me. And I'm going to do the same thing here, 180. And this part is only optional. It's not something you have to do. So this is pretty much it for my design. So I'm going to select all of this together and I'm going to flatten this image. Okay, I'm going to go to make it. I'm going to go to continue, send to printer, advanced options, printing on glossy paper. So I'm going to go ahead and change my paper type here and go to print. So I'm printing on the HP Envy and I know I've been getting a lot of questions regarding Cricut and printing um, but Cricut actually does not print it only will cut for you so you do have to have a printer space right now um, but here is my printout and I'm just going to fold this over a little bit so I know exactly where so I'm 
want it to look somewhat like this. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of a crease. Okay. Peel this off. And you can always use uh, brochure paper, presentation paper, you know, anything like that. You can use a Xyron machine. Um, this paper works pretty good for me. I have heard people say it doesn't work as well for them, but I haven't had any problems. Um, this is inkjet paper, and um, it, like I said, it's it works pretty good for me. So. So that is what that will look like. I'm gonna squeeze this together uh, and I am going to use my pinking shears for the edges and also my paper crimper. So there is my Reese's. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.